And the male one. Okay, so Huggy Prime. Huggy Prime, Patrick the Star. I like it. Um, Huggy Prime, but if it's a male, is it... Emperor Embrace? Emperor Embrace and the Huggy Prime. Huggle Prime? Anti-Karen video. Embrace the adore. <laughs> uh, the little time I lived in Washington wrecked me because of the mushroom farm. It's just moldy, especially Western Washington. There's mold literally everywhere. Everywhere. Ole! Okay, I'm gonna go Huggle Prime for the boy. Huggle Prime. The Huggle Prime and the Huggy Prime. What is a Karen? A Karen is unfortunately a derogatory term that in the US we have coined for a dumb white bitch who does dumb white bitch things, usually involving being an anti-vaxxer, not wearing masks during a worldwide pandemic, um, you know, things like that. You guys feel free to fill in the blanks. Ooh, the white one's cute. He's pretty. Oh my God, he just waved at us. Did you guys just see him wave? He just waved at us, just an FYI. That just happened. This is a dumb white bitch. I am a dumb white bitch, but I'm not a Karen. I'm a different level of dumb bitch. I like this one. I want to speak to your manager. Yes. Oh, yes, cocky. Okay, I will get it. Literally a dumb white bitch who believes they're entitled to excess freedom and has a full lacking of common sense. Yes. Entitlement, I think, is a huge part of the dumb white bitch. You, a boy can be a Karen as well, by the way. Or someone who identifies as man. How can you call it Patrick and not use mayonnaise? Oh, Patty mayonnaise, my life. Irrational, outsized sense of privilege, often identified by screaming victimhood. They're usually the ones recording these poor service workers and clerks wearing masks getting berated. Is there a first Karen? I have no idea. Karen's been a thing for a long time. Like, we've been calling dumb white hoes a Karen for quite some time. I don't really know where that started. I don't know. But I know some people named Karen, and I feel bad for them. But none of them take it personally. They're like, nah, they're Karen. It's fine. Did it start with that haircut? Was her name Karen? No, her name was Kate, though. John and Kate plus eight. Kyle's, Kyle's mom was the prototypical Karen. Oh my God, her and her shiza porn. Uh, okay, you don't get clothes, you're nude. <gasps> Cute, look at him. Save. Star uwu, let's do it. There are legends about the arc Karen. If she's fired, all Karens will be fired. Oh God. Once the haircut got stereotyped, they were all given a name. Yeah, it had. I knew it had something to do with that. It was old. Karens were originally, I want to talk to your manager, women. Uh, I went with Huggle Prime. So we have Huggy Prime and Huggle Prime. I liked it. Star Uwu is saved successfully. Done. Galaxy size. Let's go large. Advanced AI starts zero because fuck you. AI empires. That's fine. I don't care. Uh... Capital Worlds. Is this one? I don't know. I'm not going to touch anything else. I don't think I should. Right? Yeah, This. I want to speak to your manager. Dane Cook did a carrying routine years ago. So before the meme, wow. There you go. Becky. Setting AI empires to max makes the gal galaxy more lively and interesting. Setting AI empires. AI empires. All right. I'm down. Should I make my galaxy bigger? Like huge? Or not huge? Oh, are there male Karens in a casino? Stop it. Do you have like a good story? Could you have like an example? I worked at a grocery store in college. That may I see your manager hairdo was 100% justified. We literally had bets on whether the girl that would be on the phone bitching about her grocery error would come back in if she'd have the hairdo or not. Wow. 
Oh, man. I worked at Lowe's for seven years. I had my fair share of Karens, but we didn't get the normal Karen. Honestly, the kind of people I got were like crazy slum lords. They were the Karens of Lowe's. Or the, yeah, just slum lords. They were bad. People trying to were like, I used to have this woman, she would always try to return shit from, um, she was always trying to return shit from Ikea. Like, it literally said Ikea on it. And I was like, bitch, this ain't happening. Stop. But we would take it back. We'd fucking give her money. And this is why Lowe's is going bankrupt. Cheers. I still haven't hit this beautiful bowl. Cheers, everybody. Federation formed. Thank you for that follow pork. Uh, when I worked at a save a lot, I had a Karen pop up in my line, accuse me of stealing her food stamps after she said save them up for several months. She demanded my manager and my manager spent almost 20 minutes trying to get her out of my line, even letting her borrow her phone to call the food stamp office. Wow. I think the weirdest thing, the weirdest shit I ever saw was when I worked in the cash office. Like we'd have um, money covered in blood. Then I'd have to call the bank and they would fucking disintegrate it, disintegrate it all. It was very Good bizarre. Good day, Madam President. Thank I you. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. My job is to offer advice and assistance as we seek our destiny among the stars. Very well. Just I advice. Provide... Thanks, bitch. The technology screen. Shut up! As soon as you meet another civilization, you can send all your envoys to them as they otherwise wouldn't be doing any anything anyway. Okay, you're going to have to, when I get there... How do you send envoys? Is it over here? Envoys? Maybe it'll be over here. Someday. Uh, when I worked at Save A Lot, I had a Karen pop up my line and accuse me of, oh, I already read that one, my bad. I was forced to stand there awkwardly while she held up my line. Dude, I used to get really pissed watching people buy fucking steak with food stamps and I was like starving in college, living off ramen. I was like, what the fuck is this? I was mad. I don't think they don't deserve food stamps, but what the fuck? Hello, General Easy. Thank you very much. I am obsessed with this game. I love it so much. It's all I can think about all the time. Hi, Baron. It's me on my new AMD. As soon as you meet another civilization, you can send. Okay. Okay. Suh, girl. How you doing? I hated being a cashier because of the Karens. I only had one lady complain to my boss, and I cleaned my workstation because a customer's chicken package leaked. Ew. When I worked there, I also caught a guy who sold salsa, who sold salsa in our store. His salsa was literally on the shelves, and I caught him walk in, go to the produce department, then fill his cart with all the ingredients he needed to make his salsa. What? Wow, motherfucker was literally stealing ingredients and selling it in our store. That is incredible. <gasps> Crazy Dan, what's up? I don't know how many hours I have total, but I've played the game nonstop for like two weeks now, like every day, and I play it after stream in bed. So I don't know. Probably a shameful amount for the amount of time I've owned the game. Probably pretty bad. Um, okay, engineering research, Corvette, army damage minerals from jobs. I'm gonna do engineering research. <laughs> Hoctor Oc Drek Tech. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Oh, the wait. Tab lets us hide. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Um, fusion reactor. Nuclear fusion processes generate a great amount of power for ships, but without many of the risks associated with fission power. Oh. Technicians, researchers, energy credits. Please. Um, steak certainly isn't an efficient use of them. I feel you. Exactly. Like, if I was so poor, and I'm not meaning that derogatorily, I grew up very fucking poor, that I needed food stamps, I'd be fucking stocking up on non-perishables. Like, nobody's business. I'm talking chili for days. For days. That would be what I would do, but that's just me. I'm, I lived poor. I don't want to live that way. I know how to do it, and I hate it. Monthly Unity plus two. Uh, researchers. Pop grow speed. Let's get some pop. Pop, pop. Dude, right? I never had... I mean, I grew up just, like, not having a lunch at school, mostly. 
Good thing I grew up like super cheap budget shit from a can. Me too, and I'm not ungrateful because I'm really good at budgeting. Like I'm really good at being a cheap person. This is our home world and the capital of our empire. Thank the you. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. Shut up. I know. We've played. I don't budget, but I am an extreme cheapskate. Like, I will get things as cheap as I possibly can. I buy nice because I don't believe in buying twice. Like, I'm, I'm not that way. But, like, clothes and stuff, I just don't care about it. I'm never going to buy a $2,000 purse or a fucking $100 shirt. Like, these people that blow money on clothes like that, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what happens if you lost your job? I just save. I like to save, and then I'm, I feel safe. I feel like if something happened, like my computer dying, I can do something. Like... Thank fucking Thank Satan that you guys are here to help me. But, you know, if I didn't have a savings, I couldn't have bought that other monitor. I had to buy that with my own money. I had to buy a graphics card with my own money. Like, that's why I hoard my money and I don't spend it on shit. I buy clothes that last forever. Like, I buy, like, like I've got Adidas shorts. I just bought two new pairs of Adidas shorts, but my other Adidas shorts are over five years old. I've owned, like, there are gifs and clips of me not clips gifs of me from when i first started streaming five years ago wearing those same shorts but they last forever so that's why i buy them Lynn. thank you so much for that five prime months in a row it is it's not too expensive for how long it lasts like if you consider like going to rei rei is way more expensive than adidas but their shit does last forever Ew, there's a fly in here their shit lasts forever quite literally i have literally had their stuff for longer than I can even imagine. Exactly. Holly Caustic, like, 100%. Yeah. Hey, it's it's an addiction. You know what, though? I don't think it's a bad addiction. This game is pretty fun. Um, is let, me some, let me get some... Let me get some shit made. And then I can talk. Ownership. We'll press play. Fuck. This is the Federation screen. Our Federation will grow stronger while members maintain good cohesion. Assign an envoy. I did it. I don't know what I did. I don't have anywhere to send them yet. This is the Federation members screen. Here, the Federation name changes to Federation laws. Laws. Hello, Lizzie. What's up? I did the Federation start. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Can people teach me this? I guess I'm going to unlock things here, right? I don't think I can assign assign an envoy yet because I haven't seen anybody. We're rebuilding the bot. Don't worry. We're rebuilding. We'll get there. We'll get there, guys. Exactly, Rod. Like, I got a new car. It's a new Mazda, but it's a Mazda 3. It's like a low-tier car. But that's my forever car. Like, I'm going to run that bi bitch into the ground. And I got it for a really good price new to me excuse me so you can send some envoys to the federation and to the civs themselves oh okay so what am i when i say assign envoy except where did that envoy go did something happen okay i assigned them all I have a 204 Honda Jazz, and it's the most reliable car. Dude, that's my little Mazda. Mazdas are great. They're not, like, a super fancy car or anything, but Mazdas are fantastic. They're really very durable little cars that get great gas mileage. And I got a stick shift because that's theft proof. No, Daxton, it's not worth it. Yeah. Not if you're going to get stuck into debt with somebody else. Fuck that. It's a manual, yeah. Stick shift manual. But, like, the vast majority of America cannot drive them. At all. It's theft proof for the most part. Unless you really want my car. Most people do not want a Mazda 3. Assign an envoy. Oh, I already assigned them all. Okay. Well, I'll wait for more. Fleets? Okay, the fuck is this screen? Hi, Jenny. Yeah, that's mine. 
cheap, reliable, has good gas mileage. That's all I really gave a fuck about. How are you, Jennifer? All right, Lizzie, fuck that Mazda. Fuck that Mazda. I love a stick shift. They're fun to drive. I feel like I get better gas mileage with them, too. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know what to do on this page, really. Some laws are locked. These are locked. Rotation? No. Succession term. Okay. Can subjects join? Subjects are allowed to join the Federation. This determines if we allow subjects or vassals to join our Federation. Why would I want that? General Easy, fuck yeah. On top of being a Stellaris person, I love weed. It's legal here, by the way. In case anyone was wondering. And I'm 32. <laughs> I have a bicycle. Dude, they're so much fun. I usually just walk everywhere. We're close enough to stuff that I just walk. There's really no use in... I only have to take my car if I'm going really far away. So I don't think I can do anything in this, about in this yet. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I've never done Federation. Feel free to give me advice. I'm not one of those streamers that gets pissed about it. Let. Let's go! Okay. I have a this science chip. <gasps> Look, it's starters! Cute! Objects, such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. Sure thing. Thanks, bitch. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. Handshake protocols activated. Handshake protocols? Chirk Interstellar State entered into a research agreement with Makuru Hierarchy. Cool. Sick. A research agreement. Yes! Okay. Handshake protocols activated. I would love a research agreement! Look at these cute spider people! Cute! Oh, Denmark. I need to, I need to go. Try someday. When the U.S. isn't such a fucking idiot and I'm not quarantined in my own country, I will visit your country, and I'm very excited about it. Handshake protocols activated. At the moment, my country is being fucking stupid and taking away my rights to travel. I want to visit everywhere in the world. I went to Thailand last year, and it was fucking incredible. Migration treaty? Yes. Uh, this is open borders, right? Yes. I would love open borders pe with you people. Thank you so much for being weird and cute. Cute. Thailand was incredible. Thailand was, yeah. What, excuse me? Oh, I don't have any money. God damn it, Bubba. God damn it, Bubba. I wanna visit all the places complete. too. I really want to go to Eastern Europe. I've been to the Czech Republic, which is barely Eastern Europe. That was pretty dope. Research speed, excavation speed. Let's go with research speed. You're cute. I have money. Use him. Go here, survey. Ching Mai, oh my god. Ching Mai was my favorite. It was my favorite place I've ever been. Maybe. I don't know. I really like Greece. Greece was incredible. Italy was okay. Italy was just like really fast paced for me. I like to be more chill. I love Hawaii. Hawaii is my speed. Dude, my island's just as bad, Lizzie. You are not getting off any better than we are right now, so don't feel bad. Like, yeah, you've got Boris, but we have, like, fucking not. I just can't. I don't even gonna get into it. Let's not. I heard about that. Oh, my God. I read about that this morning, Jackson. I heard, read that, like, what is it? Uh, fucking the, the uh, Facebook bitch is trying to buy it or something. 
What the fuck is with that? Like, how do what? Who in their right mind does this? What the fuck is going on? The Mediterranean part, yeah. Uh, I was all over Greece, which is the Mediterranean, and it was incredible. Incredible. Can you build anything yet? No, because you're useless. Da -na 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 -na. People are building shit they didn't ask for. Tourists are unfathomably rude, and the fucking colonizers basically just shit all over the natives. God. I went to a summer the other day on violent fluids, a, femi a feminist history of blood. And in part of it, there was a paper on the artwork of Trump that this woman did with her period blood after he attacked a woman about her period. Whoa. System survey complete. That is a sentence and a story. That is fucking metal. Yay, good job, you little science bitch. System that survey is, complete. That's like... Metal. Are you almost done in for Skinnia? Here, I'm I'm good. I see that shit enough in my life. I thought they had fixed it, but the downside of this is that it can get a bit cramped. That's fine. We can always start again. That's the thing I love about this is it saves your like race. So I don't have to go make my people again. Like if we don't like it, we can literally just go start another game. It's my favorite part about this game. Nothing's permanent, which is dope. Yet here we are, right, Ginny? 2020 is amazing. Ginny, I think your coworker was in here earlier. Someone came in and was like, Beer Bong Gin is better than Classic Katie. And I was like, you're right. But thanks for pointing it out in my stream in front of hundreds of people! It's fine. And then my stream crashed, and I blame that person. Dude, we get some gnarly snow in uh, Colorado. I'm doing Federation, which apparently gives you crazy, crazy close starts, but I'm fine with it. We've recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization. Better go research it. Updated. Better go research it. Please. Minor artifacts. Thank you. I should have banned them. That one's on me. Who are we talking about? Oh, yeah, it's cool. It's fine. They were right. They were right. The mods. The ship mods? Yeah. Remarkable. What? Shut up. What the fuck is this? Defense platform? Construction complete. I'm in a screen. I don't understand. I'm leaving it. Um... Fuck yeah, cocky. You'll probably pass out. My ship ports can build them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I go to the this thing and I, like, say, upgrade all my ships? Or to expand our glorious rule through force of arms. If we so Something wish. like that. In the fleet manager, we can create temple. I should recruit a leader in 15 credits. Go check on Zeke. I hear him. I don't want to. The first paper was on medieval depictions of Jesus bleeding on the cross and the wound in his side being vulva shaped, which leads directly into my study focus on Jesus's subversion of masculinity, being porous and wet as women were. I've made so many jokes about fucking Jesus's holes and you just made it sound so much more intelligent, but I've thought about it a million times. Like the symbology of like literally fucking Jesus a whole bunch. Seriously, like, you made it sound really mature, but I've thought it in gross Katie terms many times. For realsies. Anomaly found. 
Research it! Of course! Okay, speed evasion. That's pretty dope. Evasion, sublight speed. Uh, ship fire rate, sublight speed. I want sublight speed. Nerd, you're a nerd, bitch. A new fleet! I did not want to do that. Add a ship design to the fleet. What? Sick. We've discovered a new archaeological site. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here I am fucking around in weird screens. It's a defensive upgrade? Sick. Hell yeah. Okay, construction ship. You're gonna go here and you're gonna fucking build a thing and we're gonna cock block it. Whatever his name is. You, you're gonna go here. Fuck. Just move there. Please. The archaeology window shows details of the currently selected archaeology site. After progress is made, you can still go back and read previous stages by clicking the ruin icons. Dope. We're excavating. Um, let's go here to Four Skinnia. Can't do anything. Oh, we can build a building. Okay, what do we need? Uh, food. Uh, a monument? Civilian industries, commercial zones, Halo theaters, luxury, precinct, research, rich mama. I'm going to give you some food. Give you some fucking food. A resource. Reese? What? No. Oh my god, cocky. I can't click. It'll like shrink all my fucking screen down and everything. Even though I have it in fucking windowed mode. I had it in full windowed. Borderless window. Thought it was gonna restart it. This one. Save. Okay. Okay. He did. Yep. He did. Oh, bless him. Bless him. I don't get a break yet. I don't get a break for like an hour and a half. I don't get a break yet. Yeah, bitch. <gasps> Ooh, it appears that the asteroid something something and the surrounding debris originate from a former planet. Oh, there's hints of bacterial life. What? Wild. Gave him wiener soap? Dude, he cleans his wiener all the time. It's like the one thing he takes care of. Other than me his wiener. Boys value their wiener over most things in life, I find. It's funny to say wiener as an adult, isn't it? He said his wiener head won't fit through the hole. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. What if we put it in soft and then made it hard? <laughs> that could be mean. What if it got stuck? Oh my God, what if it was like a soap cock ring? <laughs> no, Katie, bad. Bad ideas are bad, Katie. Or are they the best ideas ever? I need Reese Walsh's, please. Wiener's a fantastic word. I fully support wiener in all its uses. It's an alert now? Of course it is. Of course it is. Construction complete. Good job, you fucking wiener lover. Complete. Good job, you fucking wiener lover. Please move here. No, build things first. I changed my mind. Zeke's gonna wake up tomorrow very f confused and surprised. Yes. I mean, isn't that like every day for him though? It might be an ACDC shirt. AC shirt. He definitely has one. I don't know. What do you think? I don't have any resources, mother. Help me! It's 
fine. Science ship doing nothing! Who's that? 